Carlos Pavón. So what I did is I wake my family up and I get everybody out. Living in this building has brought pain and uncertainty for Ricardo Perez, but that didn't stop him from being a hero. Speaking through a translator, Perez says after getting his family out of the burning apartment building, he saw two young kids still inside. Yes. I did not, I did not expect it, but I feel very happy because if I would have not have been, then probably they would not be here with us. In all, at least 130 people are displaced after the fire at 515 West 7th Street in Plainfield, a building that had been inspected for poor living conditions. I'm here because I know a lot of people don't eat nothing all, all morning, so we're here for them. Saul Garcia, owner of Saul's Deli, donated food to the displaced residents the second time he's done so this year. It's very, very important to keep the people together and the people who need help. The fire is the latest chapter in the ongoing saga of these two buildings. In August, Building 501 was abruptly condemned due to unlivable conditions, forcing hundreds of people out on next to no notice. The building next door, 515, was not condemned, but had a list of issues to be remediated, and then suffered this fire Monday morning. The New Jersey chapter of the American Red Cross is helping many of the families that are displaced. Our hearts are with those that, you know, we're affected and displaced. It's a terrible time for something like this to occur. Now, Ricardo Perez, the gentleman, the hero you saw in the beginning of that story, he told me today through a translator he's not sure what his next move is or whether he's going to be able to stay with family, but he told me his priority right now is keeping his immediate family together through this tough time, and he and about 130 other people have been uh, let back into the building by fire officials to retrieve their belongings.